I think just about everybody and their mom knew this was coming. iRacing is getting the NASCAR license to produce video games on consoles, PC, and mobile, which is a huge step in the right direction for NASCAR as well as iRacing. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we got huge news out of the NASCAR gaming scene, of course, uh, that iRacing has officially acquired the NASCAR license to develop games. Motorsport Games is no more. We are finally free. This is quite simply the biggest day in NASCAR gaming since, well, I would say back in what, uh, whenever Motorsport games acquired uh, 704 games you know and took over there a long time ago it was what 2019 2020 somewhere in that area a huge day and i am i myself am so happy i hope you guys are excited as well there is finally hope again for the nascar gaming scene uh and at the end of the clip they did showcase that the game is not going to be coming out until 2025 that stings a little bit but that's to be expected honestly a tad bit earlier than I was expecting to hear uh, when this news came out. Now the question is 2025, but, but maybe when in 2025? What kind of quarter are they targeting? Because if they're targeting a Q1 release in 2025 to maybe aim for the Daytona 500 area, which would obviously be the best time to release a NASCAR game, uh, that's just over a year away, which is really not that bad. Now if they're aiming for like this time in 2025, that's two full years, that's a different story. We will uh, just quite simply have to wait for some news to come out here. Now, uh, Stephen Hood from Motorsport Games said, uh, This sale to iRacing is expected to be beneficial to all parties. We believe it will allow us to rebalance our immediate cash needs, uh, reduce our contractual and financial obligations, and double down on near-term revenue, generating releases already in advanced development. Maybe like the IndyCar game would probably be like the last thing you're going to see from them aside from that Lamar game that's coming out later in the year. Uh, we would like to thank our partners at NTP and fans of the franchise over the years and wish iRacing the best with their future plans. I personally uh, never thought I would be thanking Motorsport Games, but I want to say a big thank you to Motorsport Games and, and Stephen Hood, um, you know, not for not for making games, but for selling the license. And Stephen Hood obviously came back into Motorsport Games at a really awkward time uh, for him. Not really much of this was, uh, you know, uh, his own doing, of course. You look at Dimitri Cosco is kind of the, the head of everything when everything was going wrong for them. Uh, so I applaud this decision for them to get rid of the license and give it to iRacing. I do wonder how much they sold it for. We also had a bit of news just from Motorsport Games on uh, NASCAR Heat 5 and whatnot. So uh, just taken from their own article on their website, current NASCAR titles, including NASCAR Heat 5, which recently re uh, received the next-gen car update DLC and Nintendo Switch title NASCAR Rivals, will remain supported by uh, Motorsport Games and available for the remainder of 2023 and 2024. Additionally, as part of ongoing efforts to achieve long-term financial stability and growth, Motorsport Games has committed to redefining its product and development strategy strategy and will start a comprehensive uh, commercial review of all projects in its portfolio, which may result in additional restructuring efforts um, into those already implemented under previously announced 2022 restructuring program. This includes a detailed review of the IndyCar game project, which of course we know is coming at some point apparently, uh, which is under development by the Motorsport Games Australia studio and Traction GG, a UK uh, uh, base media website and company focused on racing games and related esports. I used to be a part of Traction GG. Can you guys remember those days? Stephen Hood also added, We believe the sale of the NASCAR license is a significant accelerator to a planned change of direction with the uh, propriety... Uh, pro proprietary oh my god you guys are gonna kill me for that one technology industry leading talent hand-picked advisors uh stronger processes and a change of culture we expect to deliver on the promise we see throughout our company 
Of course, uh, details on the iRacing side of this new game is extremely limited, except the fact that it's going to be, you know, on consoles, it's going to be on PC apparently as well, it better be a PC game, um, but as well we know that there's going to be some kind of mobile game on the way from the looks of it as well. Uh, a huge, a huge expectation that we had was iRacing taking over the license as we continued to watch the downfall, downfall of motorsport games kind of unfold in front of our eyes, and uh, this was the company that I wanted to take over and I have high hopes because not only is it going to be iRacing but I would expect that Monster Games will also be helping to develop uh, the game alongside just like we've seen with the past games that iRacing has been putting out with the World of Outlaws and, and whatnot and they have another game coming out uh, later at a later date as well uh, which is like very very unique it's motorsport related but not in like a traditional motorsport kind of way it's like an off-roading game uh, nonetheless uh, big things here and we don't really know much yet well we have just cup series well we have trucks well we have xfinity they got quite a bit of time to work on the game they've got monster games who has experience obviously from the nascar heat series hopefully they don't just go back to the nascar heat format because although that'd be a step in the right direction from nascar 21 ignition and from motorsport games it would still be kind of a step in the wrong direction of going forward and making good games now the thing is i racing they need to come out swinging with this game. They got to make an absolute banger. They do not need to make a good game. They need to make a great game. That's the only option here. iRacing and if Monster Games is involved, you guys got to make a banger of a video game right here. Uh, otherwise, I mean, what was the point at the end of the day? So they got to come out swinging because if they don't, they're gonna, not going to be able to get a swing in later down the line. Really excited uh, about this, of course. I uh, would like to know more, but we can't really expect to know more uh, at this point in time with such a long timetable uh, away, which was also expected when you just get the license. So it is what it is. We'll wait and see. Of course, let me know what you would like to see down below. A huge day for NASCAR gaming, and this also leads to, uh, you know, future stuff. We can all kind of brainstorm what do we want with the new NASCAR game on the way. Uh, and I'm going to do a whole video just, you know, devoted to that, you know, right off the top of my head, of course. Uh, a way more in-depth career mode than we've ever gotten uh, climbing the ladders of course from uh, the lower series into the cup series a big thing that I've been asking for for so many years is weather and now NASCAR has gotten so used to wet weather racing on road courses now we can do wet weather racing to an extent on flat ovals I see it as a no-brainer to add weather to your game but considering iRacing doesn't even have weather officially in iRacing itself yet, although they are working on it, I, I'm not too confident uh, that that would ever actually happen. Uh, but those are the, the kind of two things that come up right off the top of my head, but we can, you know, brainstorm for days and days, and we're going to do exactly that uh, in my Discord server. Uh, and then that will get us probably the next NASCAR news video, but as news comes out about this game, we're going to continue to, of course, update uh, here on the channel, channel and whatnot. But yeah, the biggest day for NASCAR gaming in a long time, and I hope that this is a step in a very bright future. And let me know what you think down below, what your comments are. I'm not going to waste any more of your time and try to crank out like a 20 minute video of some Something that does not need 20 minutes of explanation. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.